Listen, when you do an introduction uh, with a television conversation like this, you first have to start off with titles, the official title of your guest. So far, okay, I have Melinda Vale, medium, intuitive, author, talk show host, uh, leader of the lives of Hollywood stars and law enforcement, uh, uh, Christian mystic. Do you use that? Well, I I guess so. <laughs> this is on well, your you paperwork. Can. You can from now on. <laughs> Uh, but just remember where you got it. Well, I think little... there's a big difference between mediumship and Christian mystic, and I think I fall somewhere in between. Nobody knows what to label me exactly, Pat, because I'm a regular churchgoer, I'm a strong believer in my faith, and yet I do medium work. So as you know, I say I keep out of what I call fruit loops and wind chimes or new age kind of energy. So I'm somewhere in between, I think, and it's kind of hard to put a label on. But it. most faiths are not big fans of you being being a medium or mediumship in general. Isn't that true? That's very true. Although I'm very lucky because I get people from actually all over the world and from every faith that will talk with me because when you get specific and accurate information that's undeniable, you will let go of whatever religious principle keeps you from not talking to someone like me if you want to find out that you're maybe child is fine and well on the other side of the veil or a sister or brother or parent or whatnot but mostly people who've lost children will kind of let go of of any kind of preconceived idea of that and come in so that they know their their child is safe okay but let me be direct then and ask you the question that everybody wants to know with all of the people the countless people who at least claim to be able to communicate beyond mm -hmm. and what do you call many of them fruit loops and wind chimes fruit loops and wind chimes yes mm -hmm. well there are so many phonies mm -hmm. uh, in that business uh, why should anyone believe you well, if you come and see me, you will know immediately that I'm the real deal because I will get a name that is very specific. And I get generational names. I get dogs' names. I get other animals' names, horses' names. I get uh, things that are private. Uh, for example, today I actually talked to somebody in Malta, of all places, and her loved one had given her a small teddy bear, and I said, she's saying, teddy bear. And so that was the clincher because they, you know, she, it was verifiable information that I wouldn't have any way of knowing. And the reason you're here, and the reason why I don't consider you a Fruit Loop, uh, is because I have been to see you uh, in public, for lack of a better term, performances, mm -hmm. presentations, and it is totally unexplainable how it is you manage to do what you do. And I think probably if folks come to the Stagebrush Theater in Scottsdale, February the 23rd, they will understand how it is that you may or may not be able to communicate for the first time, I think, ever with Wallace and Ladmo, mm. the children's show hosts that were here in Phoenix on the air, Channel 5, mm -hmm. for 36 years. Mm -hmm. It should be very interesting because I have not been raised here. So I am unfamiliar with the show and I am trying to stay away from seeing anything about the show because I want it to be pure. Of course, I've known you for a while, so I've heard some things about your different characters and some oh, of, I'm you know. Sorry. <laughs> you may regret this whole concept. <laughs> but you don't know them and I did after 30 years. Uh, uh, why should I be there as really close personal friends and business partners of these two guys? Well, because I think that you will be the one that will be able to acknowledge that Wallace and Ladmo are making fun of everything in heaven and uh, <laughs> that they'll definitely be having a good time on stage with you. And how I know this is because I can't just conjure them up, Pat. When I had the idea of, actually you gave me the idea because Someone asked you, has she ever talked to Wallace and Ladmo for yep. you? And you said no. And I thought, well, let's bring that to the community too because when I'm out with you, I see people shake your hand and are so excited about their, their ba Wallace and Ladmo bags and all of those things. I thought, well, let's let the community see that too because it's, it's such a beloved 
uh, TV show here, and it's my understanding it was, it's it's like the Saturday Night Live of children's shows, and so I can't wait to have those guys come through and talk with me because, as you know, I use humor when I'm working, so it lifts the room and lifts the energy. So I can't wait to hear what they have to say to you. Well, you may decide to even watch again because they're on Channel 7 on Sunday afternoons mm -hmm. at 4 o'clock. Oh, and by the way, I am going to be there the 23rd. What time? 7 o'clock. Stage Brush Theater, but you cannot get tickets at the door. You have to get on MelindaVale.com to get the tickets. And so that um, you're all set when you come through the door. There'll be people at the tables that mark you off. And um, we're very excited about this. I'm also going to do a few audience readings before you come out. And so that a few people will get to, you know, maybe talk to some of their loved ones too. What's the and, address again to get uh, the tickets? The address is melindavale.com, just my name.com on and my website. And how do you spell veil? V-A-I-L. Okay. Oh, yes, there will be Ladmo bags given away at some time during the event. Wallace, Ladmo, maybe they will have a message through Melinda, Mike Candelo, you're going to try to get in touch I am. with. I am. And uh, I wouldn't miss this for anything in the world. And I'm glad you didn't miss this conversation with Melinda Vale. Thanks, Pat.